Are you looking for a solution to create your website quickly and easily? If you are, you've probably heard of the two popular names, Wix and Squarespace. Today, let's look at the key differences between these two builders to find out which one is made for you. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jessie from Lead Extension, the world leading shopping cart migration expert. The comparison of Wix and Squarespace is now brought to the table because both builders are the two famous names in the e-commerce market with their own strengths and weaknesses. Now I will break down the key differences including price, ease of use, website builder features, and e-commerce features as well. Keep watching the video to find the best solution for your live store. To begin with, Wix is a website builder that provides everything you need to create and manage your online store. Founded in 2006, Wix has been a reliable home for over 4 million live websites all over the world. This cloud-based platform is preferable for beginners and non coders thanks to its drag-and-drop interface and all-in-all functionality. On the other hand, start in January 2004, Squarespace is well known for being a leading content management system for website, blog, portfolio, and online store. It lets all types of businesses create a professional web pages with the use of available toolkits. Currently, Squarespace is paying more attention to enriching itself by optimizing e-commerce features. So, why wait any further? Let's dig into the outstanding differences of the two platforms to help you choose the one that suits you and your business. First thing first, let's talk about pricing. The criteria for choosing proper Wix pricing options greatly depend on how you use it. If you want to unlock more useful features to scale up your web page, you obviously need to purchase a higher plan. Currently, there are two main Wix premium plans website plans along with e-commerce and business plan. The first option is website plan, which can cost you $4 to $24 each month, depending on your demands. However, this plan is only suitable for making blog or portfolio, and you are not able to sell anything. Don't worry much, Wix also offers three business and e-commerce plans ranging from $17 to $35. This builder also allows you to create a website free of charge until you want to drive more functionalities from paid plans. Alright, here is my recommendation. Online merchants can start with Business or Business Unlimited, which is considered is the best option for small online store with basic e-commerce features. Still not enough for your business? Go for Business VIP to experience priority support and the full array of e-commerce features. It's also worth noting that for paid plans, there is a 40 days money back guarantee. One more thing that you should bear in mind is that Wix offers over 50 payment gateways to choose from. You will need to pay a processing fee for every payment you receive for your Wix payment. The transaction fee ranges from 1.9% to 2.9% depending on specific regions. Meanwhile, Squarespace pricing is much more straightforward. There are only four plans ranging from $16 to $54, which can purchase monthly or yearly. Personal plan is great for personal projects and blogs. It's ad-free and includes a free domain for one year. The second plan is a business that has some marketing features. Next is Online Store Basics that adds e-commerce features. I highly recommend this plan for small online stores. For small to medium-sized business, Online Store Advanced would cover everything above and opens more excellent e-commerce features. Luckily, a two-week free trial is available on Squarespace and you can also save up to 30% if annual payments are fully made in advance. Squarespace limits the payment providers and is only support Stripe, PayPal, and Square. Squarespace doesn't charge any transaction fees on basic commerce plan and advanced commerce plans, but this builder will take 3% of each sale you make if you're selling on business plan. In this route, Wix take one point home because it offers better value for money thanks to its free plan and wide range of options. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Which one is fastest to learn and build a complete website? In fact, 
Wix is the what you see is what you get website builder because of its drag and drop features. That's super easy and user friendly because just a single click on the element like name, image, logo, you can freely drag it to anywhere you like on your site. Furthermore, you can make changes and view your store's appearance at the same time. However, you may create a messy Wix website if you don't have any idea on organizing every element strictly. Luckily, this builder has a powerful backup tool to get your previous versions back. Moreover, Wix also offers a super easy way to get started, Wix ADI. It uses a virtual type of assistant that asks you some basic questions and then presents a website for you automatically. Squarespace, on the other hand, is much more restrictive. They use a grid system where your elements need to snap in. Therefore, even the simple things like resizing your image can mean having to use spatial elements, creating columns and adjusting them. Apart from that, grass-based layouts are fully responsive to both mobile and desktop devices. However, you should keep in mind that all your changes on your website will go live directly with Squarespace. Don't panic yet, because Squarespace is more restrictive and structured, and it will be harder to mess up your website. Alright, Squarespace learning curve is steeper once you know your way around the platform. It's fine, but Wix will this route with its excellent user interface and powerful backup system. Talking about website builder features, whenever you decide to get started, both Wix and Squarespace will immediately direct you to the template and design page. This is the very first step to create your website, and you should take it seriously because both platforms don't allow you to switch to another template once you have picked it. So, let's see what you will get from them. A total of more than 800 templates makes Wix a strong competitor. Those dazzling templates can cover up to 70 categories with various industry-specific features, most of which are super eye-catching and provide a foundation for a professional-looking website, so you can customize both your desktop and your mobile view. However, it's unsurprising that not every template hits the mark. You may come across several awful, poor designs that would definitely drag the standard down. So think carefully before selecting. Meanwhile, Squarespace honestly is the unbeaten champion of clean, stunning, and modern designs. Over 100 Squarespace templates are professionally designed to ensure usability, performance, and mobile responsiveness. This is a classic case of quality over quantity. Squarespace may have smaller range than Wix, but each and every template has been created by professional designers. The downside of Squarespace templates is that this builder is originally a blog hosting service. Therefore, some designs might not be optimized for an e-commerce site. Interestingly, Wix might win this round in terms of quantity, but I would definitely give Squarespace one point home thanks to its high-quality templates. Now, let's compare the extensions and apps between Wix and Squarespace. With Wix, you can access to over 300 apps on App Market to enhance your site. Most of them are development apps that support the creation of website. Therefore, those who want to open an online store will need to go for apps from third party. Squarespace introduced Extension Gallery in December 2009. Unfortunately, there are only 23 extensions and 4 categories from third parties. Regardless of limited selection, most Squarespace extensions focus on boosting e-commerce features. There isn't a huge number of integrations available right now, but hopefully it will grow over time. And that's why Wix obviously takes this one home. Next thing to consider in this comparison is SEO, search engine optimization. So, how does Squarespace and Wix stack up in the SEO department? Well, both tools allow you to do the basics perfectly well, like adding headings, meta description, arm text, changing page titles, editing page URLs, or creating 301 redirects. Both platforms allow you to display your blog post in M format, which can speed up in mobile search results. Wix SEO contains step-by-step -step tutorials, achievement updates, and tons of other learning materials. 
so you can start improving your size visibility. Furthermore, this builder comes with a range of basic blocking features right on your newly created e-store. However, you will need to add the free Wix block from the app market if you want to customize a more appealing block page. Nonetheless, Wix only supports block box categories. With Squarespace, it has nearly 90% of the SEO options that your site will need, but there are a few elements that need improving. For example, Squarespace lacks an SEO tracking tool for creating rich snippets such as provide additional and viewable info or content summary. Therefore, you need to do it manually. When it comes to blocking, Squarespace shows its muscle as it's always been their focus. This platform has got outstanding features like running a multi-author block, scheduling, postcard support, and far more. Squarespace, on the other hand, has an edge over Wix by supporting both block box tag and categories. There isn't much to win for Wix in this round. But solely judged from technical perspective, I think that Squarespace currently wins the SEO and blocking feature mainly because it makes use of responsive designs, offer a large number of block-oriented templates, while Wix doesn't. Besides being a wonderland for developing regular websites, now let's look at how Wix and Squarespace bring up the e-commerce features. Let's talk about sales channel and product type support. With Wix, you can multiply your products to some popular sales channels like Facebook, Instagram, and eBay. Instead of switching among these marketplaces, you can manage and modify your business with the multi-order apps from Apps Market. This is a powerful tool that lets you connect your Wix store with several sales channels and take control over everything from the main dashboard. With multi-orders, the process of handling orders, inventory, or shipping will be more effective. Furthermore, in terms of product types, which gives you a flexibility to sell physical, digital products. But before making your Wix store go live, please make sure that your product type you are selling is up to snap. There are quite several product types and services that Wix prohibits users to sell on their website. So what about Squarespace? It authorizes store owners to expand their product categories by creating multiple sites from one single admin panel. And unfortunately, Squarespace doesn't offer multi-size plan. Therefore, you need to set up separate buildings for each site. And, and with Squarespace, you are able to sell four main product types, physical, digital, service products, and gift cards. Moreover, you can sell physical and service products as one-time purchases, which brings recurring, predictable revenue for your store. In this final round, it's so hard to find out which one is better in accordance with the two different aspects. In terms of sales channel system, Wix seems to be better than Squarespace for those who want to display their items on diverse marketplaces. Meanwhile, Squarespace lets you sell nearly all types of products that you could make profits no matter what. Okay, it's time to sum up and draw some conclusions. Both Wix and Squarespace possesses fascinating features that are worth opting to. Squarespace is made to measure for stunning content-based website. The reason lies in its focus on blog supporting functionalities and their fully responsive templates. Meanwhile, Wix gives top priority to e-commerce feature by providing suitable apps to automate the process of setting up your online store. With its user-friendly interface and reasonable price, you can easily build up your own website from scratch with little effort. Alright, I hope that you will find a suitable platform after watching this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think about Wix and Squarespace. In the event of migrating Wix to Squarespace or vice versa, don't hesitate to contact us. The extension would have you to transfer all the data from the current platform to a more robust one while keeping your SEO ranking untouched. I will put the link in the description. Make sure to go check it out. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos. See you next time. Bye!